Let's go through how we change the style of a shape, specifically the background color, the stroke, its transparency, and the width of the stroke. Fill sets the background color. So you can say fill F coat red, and that will set it to red. There are a number of other ways in, you can, in which you can specify the colors, and we'll go through those. Stroke similarly sets the outline or the border color. Fill opacity sets how transparent or opaque the, back, the color should be. Stroke opacity does that same for uh, does the same for the outline, and stroke width determines how thick a line can be. Let's apply all of these to this dummy text, which is currently transparent. This is text three, so we'll specify a rule for text three that says the fill should be red, stroke should be yellow. Note that I'm putting the F quotes around each of these because these are string values. The fill opacity can be, let's say, 50% uh, transparent for the fill. Uh, I don't need F quotes because it's a number. And stroke opacity is, let's say, 25% um, opaque. So it's mostly transparent. It's a light yellow border. The stroke width of, now I can specify this in length units let's say i want a six point width with this when we run slide sense it applies these to the text and we have red background but it's 50 percent transparent because we had a fill opacity of 0 0.5 where's the fill opacity yeah so that's 50 percent transparent red so there's a bit of blue showing in and there's a 25% transparent yellow, which is pretty thick. And that's what we see as the outline here. So when that yellow overlaps with the red, it has a slightly different color. When it overlaps with the blue, it has a slightly different color. But the overall thickness is six points. This again can be set on practically any shape. Now, how does one define the colors? There are a number of different ways in which you can specify the color. It can be a named color like red, or you can specify a hexadecimal value in three digits or six digits, or even an RGB. 255 is the highest for red, for blue, and for sorry, red, green, and blue. Uh, zero is the lowest value for any of these. So this says, give me full red and full green, and no blue, which is yellow. It can also, instead of using RGB, be a tuple or list in Python. And the values can also range from 0 to 1 if they are a list or a tuple. That means that 0 is the least amount of red, blue, or red, green, or blue, and 1 is the highest amount of red, green, or blue. But more importantly, you can also use the Python theme colors. Sorry, you can use the PowerPoint theme colors. The PowerPoint theme colors are the colors that you get when you select any uh, color related command and choose these so for example if i set the color to well let's set it on this one so there's no transparency i set it to this red when we change the design to have a different color scheme let's say any one of these you'll notice that the color of the rectangle or sorry of the oval is also changing that's because what the theme does is actually says just get me the second accented color here based on the theme and if the theme changes get me that changed color so this is a far more flexible and powerful way of setting the colors you can also make them lighter or darker so for example this is red accent 2 80 percent lighter this is red accent 2 50 percent darker you can specify those as accent underscore one accent underscore two etc and also with the modifiers such as accent underscore one plus 40, which is 40% brighter or accent two, 20% lighter. So what would it take to set it to, let's say this particular shade of orange, which is accent six, 60% lighter. Let's close this presentation, take this and set the fill without any fill opacity, stroke opacity and all of that to accent six, plus 60 percent opacity let me just verify that it was 60 percent um that's lighter by 60 percent yes so it's plus 60. if i'd wanted it darker i'd have said minus let's run slide sense 
and that makes oh the dummy text 60% lighter i actually wanted oval uh, to for comparison to be lighter let's close the output presentation not that it makes a difference which one we fill but that fills it with the right shade of orange if i change the design now uh, to a different color scheme you'll notice that the color of the oval also changes that's how you go about setting the colors for the fill the stroke and any other command that has color